Hello and welcome to another Planet Destiny video. In today's video I'd like to talk about the official lore for this new expansion as well as some hopes and predictions for the future. As you can see we're getting more of everything, new cutscenes, story missions, and a quest which will take us to new locations on Earth, including a social space known as Felwinter Peak, home to the Temple of Iron and the Mausoleum of Iron Lords. First off, let's dive into some of the history. The Iron Lords were said to be here before the city and the vanguards. They were blessed by the Traveler's Light and dedicated themselves to defending humanity and rebuilding a lost civilization. They protected survivors of the Collapse and went on to do amazing things, but then came across a foe that they just couldn't defeat. Ultimately, the Iron Lords sacrificed themselves to contain this evil deep beneath the surface of the Earth. So Lord Saladin is all that remains, but he knows that someday the thing that destroyed the Iron Lords will return. As for the wall, fallen mutants and their machinery destroyed some of it, as well as much of the area known as the Plague Lands. It's in the Cosmodrome and it's been quarantined for many years, but the Devil Splicers have broken through the walls and found an incredible source of power. The Splicers are using what's known as SIVA to transform the region, as you can see in these images. SIVA is a Golden Age breakthrough in self-assembling, self-replicating nanotechnology. Every Fallen House has splicers dedicated to augmenting and enhancing the warriors of that house, but the House of Devils have uncovered the ultimate advantage. These new Ninja Pirate Plague Zombie Robot Fallen are planning to make themselves into machine gods and conquer the last city. The corrupted Fallen or splicers will no doubt be on vigilant patrol to defend their precious SIVA, and public events and vanguard patrols will likely have you try and take back some of the region. There's another new area, and that's the social space where we'll begin our adventures on. Taking back Felwinter's Peak will be the first mission in the campaign, or so we think. The idea of a hub to pick up quests and purchase gear is smart, but if Felwinter Peak were to also be connected in a tangible way to the task at hand, we wouldn't have the feeling of docking, checking off a few boxes, and heading out. Okay, so let's go more in depth about splicers. They look offensive and aggressive, and will use the benefits of their upgraded tech to harass us and assault. From the peg leg dregs to the giant cannon for an arm Kel, the firepower is going to be turned up. And what you're all most excited for, the new raid. Deep below the earth lies the true source of the SIVA outbreak, guarded by the most zealous and powerful fallen devil splicers. There's very few details right now, but we got a glimpse of a boss in at least some of the playable space. As explained on the reveal stream, our efforts will take us back to the wall, to the heights of Felwinter's Peak, and eventually to the depths of the earth. We will help Lord Saladin honor the sacrifices of the Iron Lords while becoming ourselves an Iron Lord, and in doing so, conquer the evil that felled them long ago. From what we saw in the stream, we'd expect to see new fight mechanics and enemy abilities, new SIVA augmented bosses including a Death Zamboni that looks like it might chase us along the top of the wall, and a Met Kel with a massive cannon for an arm, as well as quest lines that give us an opportunity to use a relic, the Flaming Battle Axe. Lord Saladin at the crux of the campaign, Rise of Iron, positions itself well to explore his regrets, the struggle to contain Siva, and hopes for the future of the Iron Lords. In closing, what we've seen so far seems to be shaping up into a fun experience, but there's still more to be revealed in the coming months. For more Rise of Iron, be sure to watch our latest podcast. We've got lots of speculation and analysis there. Hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Patrick Casey with Planet Destiny, your guide to the Destiny universe.